Yeah, this tournament means everything to me. I've always wanted to bowl in this tournament. My dad's bowling in this tournament, so I want to. I want to do what he did. So, so I got two on him. Yeah. <laughs> but ever, ever, ever watching him, bowl, watching him bowl, I wanted to bowl. Like I knew I wanted to do this. And then, you know, watching all of my peers, you know, in the city, I always wanted to be just as good as them, or if not better. So. This is the tournament I got. To, I was able to prove it. You know, he's one of the best. I think me and him are one and two. Just keep bowling league. You know, keep practicing, stay ready for Michigan whenever that comes around, and any player tour that comes out out in, in uh, Toronto and all that. I started out quick. I had first four in this game, and then four ten pins in a row. And I'm, I tried to do some things with my hand to get it to strike. I tried to do a couple little tricks, and I just couldn't get the ten to fall. So. Tried a ball change, and worked on the first one, and then didn't make a great shot in the last shot. And I mean, I knew I needed them all. I needed them all to force him to to at least get the first strike. I'm glad we're back bowling. I'm glad that I'm throwing the ball good. I can't complain. I got uh, Team Canada tryouts coming up in a week. I feel like I'm throwing it good, so anything to build off of is good. I was lucky enough to to break the tournament record that had stood for 31 years in qualifying. I think I broke it by about three or four pins. It wasn't much. Um, I think I averaged about 264 point something for the five games of qualifying. And uh, it just, I got dialed in that day. It was, uh, it was pretty fun. It was nice today I got to bowl against two guys that I'm good friends with. Like, I'm great friends with Randy that I bowled in the first match. And then Dylan has been unbelievably good since he was like 12 years old. Uh, he always knew he was going to be good. You could just tell he throws the ball amazing. And when he can hook the ball, he's hard to beat. And it yielded right to what he can do best. And I mean, I knew I was going to have to strike a lot to beat him. He's he's a great bowler. He's been on Youth Team Canada. He, he, he bowled in the States at a university. He's been fantastic. And so if I have to lose to somebody, I, I'd rather lose to somebody that throws it great than somebody who got lucky and man he just threw every shot amazing he, he should have had more strikes than he did these guys went crazy the first weekend we had three perfect games you know alexander breaks the record for the history in the Molsons by shooting 1322 a 264 average get out of town you know and do all that kind of stuff the scores are great so yeah these guys spin it the numbers are down but just we're still good though we'll be back next year so everything's good so i'm pleased